So you're thinking about moving right here to Friendswood, Texas. Well, we're actually at one of my favorite coffee shops, Summer Moon, here in Friendswood. And in today's video, we are going to go on a tour of Friendswood, and we're gonna tell you everything you need to know if you're looking to move to Friendswood. Friendswood is a tight-knit, smaller Houston suburb that's really well known for its A-rated schools, its really nice neighborhoods, and it has this kind of smaller, exclusive feel than some of the other suburbs. And so uh, we're also gonna talk to you about the amenities in today's videos, and then talk to you about the housing options and affordability here in Friendswood. So let's get after it right now. One of the things I love about the location here is that it's actually a smaller community that's kind of tucked in between some of the other bigger suburbs here in Houston. And so you don't have a ton of through traffic here, but you do have access to I-45 right along the east side and you're gonna be able to take I-45 up into downtown Houston. So with no traffic, you're looking at about a 30 minute commute, but I will tell you I-45 is known for traffic, so it can be a little bit longer at times if you're gonna be driving during rush hour to and from downtown. Now, it's only a 20 minute commute over to Hobby Airport, which is one of the two major airports here in the Houston area. So Hobby's on the south side of Houston. It's a great place to fly in and out of. It's a smaller airport. In my opinion, it's more convenient and Southwest West has their main hub there. And so if you're looking to travel for work, Friendswood's a really great location just, just to cut down on that drive time to the airport. Uh, another thing that Friendswood is known for is being close to NASA. So it's actually about a 10 minute drive to NASA. And so historically, you've had astronauts living here and a bunch of scientists that work about 10, 15 minutes down the road. There's also the Space Center down the road too. So it's a really fun, cool thing to do for kids. We went there on field trips growing up. So it is uh, an amenity that we'll talk about here in a little bit. Now, as far as the commute down to the coast goes, it's really not that bad. It's about a 35, 40 minute drive and a lot of people that want to enjoy the coast here in the Houston area will prefer to live on the south side of Houston. That way you're not having to commute through traffic to get down to the beach on the weekends. When it comes to amenities, even though Friendswood is gonna be one of the smaller Houston suburbs, it has everything that you could ask for. We're actually up here at Baybrook Mall, which is gonna be your main shopping hub here in the Friendswood area. And as you can see, they've got outdoor shopping, you've got your bars, your restaurants here, you've got a Dave & Buster, a Star Cinema Grill, so plenty of activities for you to do with the family. Then they've got the outdoor shopping area, which is going to have all of your boutiques, and then you also have an indoor mall here, which is going to have your Macy's, your Dillard's, and so this is right on the um, right on the outskirts of Friendswood, right along I-45, so it's real convenient access, a 5-10 minute drive from pretty much anywhere in Friendswood. And so, when it comes to shopping and restaurants, even though this is the main hub, there are actually shopping centers throughout Friendswood. Uh, where we were at when we started this video over at Summer Moon Coffee, that's an example of more of a just a strip center that's close to some of the neighborhoods. And they're gonna have your grocery stores and your nail salons, hair salons, stuff like that. And so other cool, unique amenities uh, that we touched on earlier is gonna be the Space Center is about 10 minutes from here. So when it comes to things to do for kids, that was one of my favorite things to do growing up was to go up to the Space Center. They've got tons of activities, playgrounds, tram rides. Um, so really great amenity that's about 10 minutes outside of Friendswood. Uh, you also have tons of community parks. Stevenson Park is located right in the hub of Old Town Friendswood. And it's actually really cool. You can tell that it's historic. Friendswood actually started back in the late 1800s. It was an Amish settlement. And so Friendswood's history goes way back. You've got really well established trees. Um, so that really encompasses most of the amenities here in the Friendswood area. Now let's go talk about the schools. All right, you know the drill. Before we go talk about the schools, if this is your first time to our channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about Friendswood, Texas, or any of the Houston suburbs, subscribe to our channel, tap that bell for notifications. That way we can keep you up to date on everything going on right here in Houston, Texas. My name is Kyler Ferris and our team gets calls and texts and emails every single day from people just like you that are watching our videos online, trying to figure out if Houston is the right fit for them and their family. So if that is you, don't be shy. Give us a call, shoot us a text or send us a 
quick email and we will help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. One of the greatest features here is gonna be the school districts. So because Friendswood is smaller, it actually has its own independent school district. And so there's only two elementary schools in Friendswood ISD, two intermediate schools, one junior high and one high school. Now there's, there is Clear Creek ISD that services Clearbrook High School. So some students in Friendswood will be zoned to that. But for the most part, most of the students are gonna go to a school that's in Friendswood ISD. And what's great about this is most of the schools, just like the one you see behind me, this elementary school, are in the neighborhood. I'm looking at houses right across the street. It's walkable, it's calm, it's smaller. It feels like more tight knit, it feels, feels more more like a community and so whenever you look up the school ratings um, for schools here in the Houston area Friendswood might not pop up because it's not in Harris County it's actually in Galveston County but it is top rated schools if you look them up on niche.com or great schools which is where we recommend going to for all of your school ratings you're gonna see that the schools here in Friendswood are a plus so now we're gonna dive into our home tour. Before we do, I wanna give you the layout of all your different housing options here in Friendswood. So as we said, Friendswood is a smaller suburb and it's actually really well established. It's been around for long enough where there really aren't many new construction opportunities. You'll start to see, if you pull up a map, you'll see some new construction neighborhoods or some one-off teardowns um, on the outskirts of Friendswood. But in the heart of Friendswood, most of the neighborhoods are gonna be just like this. They're gonna be nice, well-established. You're gonna have sidewalks, you're going to have larger lots and Friendswood has a wide variety of price ranges and home sizes. So the home you see behind me right here, it's an 1800 square foot home. It was built in the early 80s and it's a three bed, two bath, but it sits on a 12,000 square foot lot and it's just down the street from a park. And so this is a really good example of an affordable option, an entry level home right in the low 300s right here in Friendswood. So the second home on our home tour is gonna to be right in that middle price point in that five to 600 range. This one behind me is listed at 675 and it's an older home built in 98, about 3,800 square feet, four beds, three and a half baths, but what it does have is a full remodel on the inside. And so you're gonna pay a little bit more for that, but in order to get a newer feeling home in the Friendswood area, you're usually gonna to have to go with a remodel. And so this home really displays what you can do with that remodel. And what's nice about it being an older home is it's on a big lot. This is a 14,000 square foot lot. So you're gonna get more space if you move into Friendswood versus some of the other suburbs. So if you're looking for that safe, smaller, well-established Houston suburb, about 30 minute commute to downtown, packed with amenities, with A-rated schools, Friendswood checks all of those boxes. We've covered a ton in today's video, but there really is so much more that you need to know about Friendswood if you are looking to move here. And so if that's on your radar and you're looking to move, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Friendswood, Texas. Now go check out our other vlogs and we'll see you guys in the next video.